Trooper. Uh, sir. How you doing? Uh, can I get your name? For what? Uh, you failed to use your tra your turn signals five times without your lights and sirens on. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is News Now Ninja, and today's video is a perfect example of how officers will exaggerate any situation to make an innocent person guilty. And also, how hypocritical these traffic cops are, considering that they enforce laws on others that they don't follow themselves. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to get to the link in the description and subscribe to L Jaws. Let them know News Now Ninja sent you, and let's get straight to the action. So keep in mind that there's no way that L. Jaws could possibly know where this officer is going. He just noticed that he wasn't following the traffic laws that he enforces and decided to follow and determine how many times he's going to do it and get his name once he got to his destination. But it turns out that this cop is actually going to his house. Plate 5618.
Trooper. Uh, sir. How you doing? Uh, can I get your name? For what? Uh, you failed to use your tra your turn signals five times without your lights and sirens on. I had lights and sirens on. Without your lights and sirens on, you're supposed to obey all traffic laws. What's your name? You do know it's part of your code of conduct to give me your name when I ask for it. No? So I'm just gonna have to file a written complaint then? Where do I do that? You wanna get your supervisor? No? It's going back. All right, so now that he followed this officer in an attempt to get his name so he can hold him accountable, SLED, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, puts this notice out. Sandy Jocelyn has a history of approaching and following Spartan County Sheriff's Office deputies, and that recently, he followed this highway patrol officer home, got out of his F-150, and requested the trooper's information, when it's clear in the video that Kyle never got out of the vehicle. And it also states that during his interactions with law enforcement, he's verbally confrontational and records his interactions. And to me, it sounds like they're trying to pump up the story and make him sound like he's some kind of dangerous individual just because he wants to hold his law enforcement accountable. And it gets even more haywire because later on down the line, a judge is holding him at gunpoint simply for holding a sign in public property. And that same judge had read this report and I want you to let me know if you think reports like this can get innocent people hurt. And if you haven't already seen the video with the judge, all original links will be in the description and I'll see you on the next one.